Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about iPad OS 14 and the brand new Apple Pencil features for the iPad OS 14. So, first, let me go to my settings. I'm going to go into my software update, and as you can see, we are running iPad OS 14.0, and of course, this is a beta version. So, let's dive right in and see what new features we have for the actual Apple Pencil. Now the first one is an amazing feature. It's known as the scribble feature. Works in many apps and many locations. So let's say I want to go to some website. I launched Safari and instead of having to bring up the keyboard and start typing in what I want to do, if I have the pen in my hand already, what I can do is I can start writing directly in the address bar here. So I can just write google.com and I'm writing crappy so you can see how good the uh, recognition is it just says google.com the keyboard the thing over here becomes really small you can tap on search or just with the pen it's going to take you right there so that's the scribble feature and i'll let you know the scribble feature also works in the reminders application so let's say i have a reminder here let's say i want to add a new line i tap over here okay it brings a new uh line and inside i can start writing and scribbling with the apple pencil so i can just say Apple and again look at how well it recognizes even crappy handwriting all right so that's scribble and again if I were in my messages application okay let's go to the messages right over here and let's say I want to respond to somebody over here I can either type it in or I can simply start scribbling right over here I can just say hi and that's going to translate, convert that into actual typed writing, okay? So Scribble option works in many apps. It even has the capability to work in the notes application. So if I create a brand new note, what I do is I tap on the pen icon here and I choose A. Now what I do is when I write something down, it will simply convert that to the text right there. And by the way, if I want to delete something, I just scribble over it, okay? I can do that anywhere I want again. Uh, let's go back over here. Let's say I want to delete this right here. I just scribble over. Boom. That gets deleted. Fantastic. All right. Now let's go back to notes and see some of the other brand new features of the actual pen. Let's do a black color. Let's say you draw a circle. Now that's a nasty circle. Let's say you're trying to do some um, uh, demonstrations here. That's a triangle. That's a circle. That's an arrow. Now what you can do is if you draw a circle and pause at the end, it gets converted to a real circle. And then let's say I want to do a line, okay? So if I draw a line and pause at the end, oh, I went to the eraser by mistake. So if I draw a line and if I pause, it becomes a straight line, straight line. But if I want to draw an arrow, again, I would do a line and draw the arrow. Look at that, okay? It makes it much better. So if I go like this, it will actually be a straight arrow. And then if I do a triangle, and again, pause at the end for a second, boom. It also retains your overall shape. So if I draw a triangle like this, it is not going to turn this into a regular triangle. It's going to retain the overall shape that you are drawing. But again, it's much better than this, much better than this. And again, if I were to draw a perfect square here, okay, look at that. Beautiful. And of course, then what you can also do is you can actually press and hold a given, uh, for example, this one right here. No, we don't, we want to select it. So that's been selected. I can take that and I can move it around as I please. So that's absolutely fantastic. I can move individual shapes around. Now, one more amazing thing. I wrote this with the Apple Pencil. And if you want now, what you can do again is select individual uh, words or you can also select the entire thing if you want. And you can go to the pen. Okay, you can use the uh, pen for this as well and change the color. So let's change the color to blue. Now take a look at what happens. Everything just changed to blue. I can pick and choose the area that I want to change the color off. Let's turn that into green. Okay. So take a look at how amazing that is. This can be done after you wrote something. And one more really cool thing is, let's say I want to add something here in the middle between shopping list and number one apples. What I can do is I can select the area I want to move away. So let's select this area. Let's bring this up so the line is right here I grab it and I push the line down there we go okay and then now I can come in I can add stuff right here if I wanted to do that so that's fantastic as well it just uh, gives you an idea 
of how much more you can do if you want with the Apple Pencil. So then we've got the scribbling feature, we've got the shapes feature, just pause, boom, we got a circle. We've got the ability to select text, okay, and change the colors on the fly, as you can see. So all these things are gonna help you a lot, and the biggest thing, of course, again, is the scribble feature. Just write wherever you know that you can type, all around across the actual iPad. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. If you have any other features that I didn't cover here about the Apple Pencil, let me know down below as well. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?